Hello again out there. This is Juggler Zero again with another episode. I have something really cool that I kickstarted, a game that I helped kickstart uh, earlier this year, uh, and I just received it last week. So I thought I'd uh, make a video of me opening it up and share it with everybody. So let's go ahead and pull it out. The game is Thieves Market by Tiny Minstrel Games from Tiny Tiny Minstrel Games. Uh, I'll have a link to their website and to the game uh, in the description below. So go ahead and uh, look at that. A um, little bit of sides here. It says age is 14 plus, 30 to 50 minutes, and age and players 3 to 5. Some pretty inter pretty cool looking art on the on the box itself. All right, let's go ahead and open this up then. Pull out my knife here. Yeah, this is a. Um, I have only kickstarted a few things. Um, I did a opening of one of them of another game already uh, called Control. So look for that video too. Um, I'll probably put that one. That one probably went up. This one will come up a few days. This one will be up a few days after Control. So. Uh, so go look for control uh, for my unboxing of control. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what all is in here. All right, so we have a catalog for Tiny Minstrel Games, basic catalog, Flip City, you know, some of the other games that they uh, that they sell and make and sell. So yeah, you'll be able to see that on their website, following the link below. And then here are the the rules. They open kind of weak. Oh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, the rules here. Not does not look overly complicated. Uh, it does, but it doesn't. Looks like it could be a lot of fun. Looks like it might be easy to to learn to play. And then we've got some markers here. Double-sided markers. The black. Oh, these are. See. Oh, it looks like they got point values too. That's kind of cool. Either point values or coin values. I'm not sure. Here are some gold coins. I'm guessing. Double-sided as well. And then we've got. Let's go ahead and open this up here. plastic all right so looks like setup for each uh, uh, player card for each player describing uh, the round sequence uh, and stuff like that that's kind of cool I really can't wait to play this game from what I've seen of it online like during the Kickstarter it's pretty cool I don't remember oh this is must be the thief and come in a little closer with that there. This is a little thief marker. That's pretty cool. And we've got a baggie for the, all the cardboard coins. we got a bunch of dice here. Now this, this is, it's, uh, that's right, it, it's kind of a random game where you roll and what you get, uh, you have to make certain patterns I think. Let's look here. <clears throat> the loot dice. Loot dice each have six sides as follows. Red, white, blue, and green gems. These dice are used to purchase cards during the uh, making purchases phase. Yellow bags. These dice are turned in for gold tokens at the end of the round. Please note that the that dice themselves are not gold tokens. They cannot be spent, spent as such. And then purple masks. These dice are turned in for infamy tokens at the end of the round. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Which are worth one notoriety point uh, each at the end of the game. No, oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah. So here's the red side. We got the green. We got the white. We got the blue. Then we got the mask side. And we got the gold side. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, and there's uh, 13. Yeah, 13 dice. Yeah, 13 dice. That's not too bad. And we've got all the cards here. Let's check these out here. If I can get it open. Alright, gotta use my knife again. There we go. Probably know in my luck there was some pull tab on it. Nope, I guess not. Alright. Um, one of the perks to being the new king, the, the new king of thieves is the excellent headgear. Hold up the king of thieves card and take a selfie with it, then announce your victory on social media. Until your position is usurped in a future game, this card should sit with you during play. Oh, that's pretty cool. King of thieves. Nice. And then all the cards here. Some really good art. I really can't wait to play this game. The cards are actually really good quality. I wonder if they fit into a regular sleeve here. Let's see if I can find one. Um, probably knowing my luck, I can't find any sleeves right now. Let me look in this box here. There we go. Found them. Got to take the card out of it that's in there. Alright, let's see how they fit into a regular sleeve. Oh, awesome! They fit really well. So I will definitely have to sleeve this up so that the cards don't get as damaged. <clears throat> don't get damaged as quickly. I don't know what all the bottom icons do. But it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, they're kind of matte finish. They don't really have a shine to them. They have a slight shine, but not, not. They're not real shiny. Anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic water buffalo. That's kind of cool. That's that's pretty funny. The bookie. Oh, I, bookies are never fun to deal with. Not that I would know, of course. Concealed safe house. Don't we all want concealed safe house or concealed something? That'd be awesome. Deceptive bits of colored glass. Yeah, you gotta be careful on those. Easily impressed noble. Executive assistant. Ooh, eye patch of command. That's kind of cool looking. Actually, I might get. I might see if I can try and make that for Halloween. That'd be kind of cool to wear. Fortified safe house. That would be the next best thing to a concealed safe house. Would be a fortified safe house. Although I'd rather have a concealed fortified safe house. <clears throat> Gauntlet of Evil Intent. Ooh. That's what it looks like. It'd be a lot of fun. Imbalance Scales. Legitimate Jeweler. Let's see here. Menacing Monocle. Oh, that looks creepy. Provision Safe House. Rumor Monger. I hate those types of people. <laughs> Sticky Fingered Dock Hand. Unlabeled po don't ever drink don't ever drink unlabeled potions. You never know what they could be. Wicked clutches. Actually, I have a couple friends who would like clutches that look like this. That would be kind of cool. So if anybody knows any way to uh, uh, anybody who makes these, let me know and I might I'll hit them up and see and maybe get one for a couple of the people in my life that would like those. Let's see here, the crown, exit strategy, yup, big boomstick exit strategy, exactly, fur coat, giant belt buckle, I always, I, giant belt buckles to me always seem very obnoxious, so, insurance racket, island estate, loyalty program, political campaign, oh, yeah, <laughs> kind of looks like our uh, candidates is here. <laughs> Uh, scepter, that's kind of a cool looking scepter. The heist. Treasure map. And another treasure map. Alright. And I noticed <clears throat> something else going through these cards. There are three different backs. You've got a, a back with a C, and it's green. I put a couple cards. Uh, a card a card back with a B, and it's kind of reddish maroonish. 
and then a card with an A, which has got kind of a blue uh, color to it. Not sure what that is. Let's look over that real quick. Market cards. Uh, separate these into A, B, and C decks based on the letter on the back of each card. Shuffle each deck separately, then remove random cards from each deck so that there are 13 cards in the A deck, 12 in the B deck, and C in the C deck. Uh, 11 in the C deck. The removed cards will not be used this game and should be placed in the box without looking at them. Okay. So that's a kind of a way to make the game, you know, a little different from time to time you play. Alright, well... Like I said, if you're interested in this game, uh, check out the link below uh, and get yourself a copy. I might even, uh, if I can get some friends together, might even do a uh, a play video, playthrough video of this. <clears throat> Pardon me. Do a playthrough video of this game, and so everybody can see how it plays, and so I can kind of have some fun with some, some friends. Alright, well if you like this video, uh, please hit that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos, uh, leave a comment, uh, if, you, uh, if you know anybody who makes those kind of cool looking uh, uh, purse things, because yeah, I think I might know some people who would like, who might like that, yeah, the clutches, so yeah. Until next time, I will see you later.